right, here we are, number 15 on the complex number review. Um, so find the cube roots of negative 27i. In other words, we are asked to solve the equation that z cubed equals negative 27i. And uh, I'm going to rewrite that in our polar form, in Euler's form. So we have negative 27, that's the r times e to the, I'm sorry, the r is not negative 27, r is positive 27, and uh, times e to the i times 3 pi over 2. Uh, because a negative 27i is moving due south on the unit circle, and so that's an angle of 3 pi over 2. Or I could have used um, equivalently negative pi over 2 as the angle. And so then what that means is z is going to be the cube root of 27 and then e to the i and what we need is an angle that when it gets multiplied by 3 lands on 3 pi over 2. So you're just dividing your angle by 3. Now this is only the first of the cube roots there is that one um, because you can always add 2 pi to the angle in order to get uh, an equivalent equivalent value. Um, so if we had added 2 pi to our original z cubed angle up here, this would become 7 pi over 2. And so my z2 is going to be cube root of 27 e to the i times uh, 7 pi over 6. And then z3 is going to be the cube root of 27 e to the i. If I'm adding another 2 pi, uh, that becomes 11 pi over 2. And so dividing it by 3, we get 11 pi over 6. And you should just double check that if you do cube those values, you get back to z cubed. So if I cube the 27, uh, if I cube the cube root of 27, that makes 27, that's good. And if I multiply uh, each of these angles here by 3, let's just double check. If I multiply this angle by 3, I hope it's pretty obvious that that becomes 3 pi over 2. If I multiply this angle by 3, it becomes uh, <clears throat> 7 pi over 2. And uh, 7 pi over 2 is the same as 3 pi over 2, if you subtract a full circle. And same idea here. If I multiply this angle by 3, it becomes 11 pi over 2, which is two full circles plus another 3 pi over 2. And so that's the idea of using Moivre's theorem to find the um, nth roots. So um, I guess I should have rewritten the cube root of 27 as 3. So I'm just going to kind of do that. And those give me my um, three different cube roots of negative 27i. So that's worth eight marks on an IB exam. And really it's, uh, in my opinion, a pretty easy eight marks. So, <clears throat> so part B, draw it out. It says, given that the three roots form the vertices of a triangle in an Argand diagram, determine the exact area of the triangle. So Z1 is right about here because it has an angle of pi over 2 and a radius of 3. So this is Z1. Z2 has an angle of 7 pi over 6. So it's just like 30 degrees past 180. So something like over here. And then Z3 is 30 degrees short of being at a full circle. And this shape is what we are asked to find the area of. And so there's, you know, a couple different formulas that you can use to find the area of a triangle. Um, one formula that's very useful is if you want to, uh, one useful formula is that the area is one half a b sine of theta. Um, and the reason this is so nice to use here is because the, um, you can split up the triangle you're actually trying to find into three different triangles. And the nice thing about each of those triangles is the, uh, they're isosceles with a length of three on either side. And so 
the area of each of those little triangles will be, and this is, again, this is just the area of the small triangles, one half times the length, which is three, times the length, which is three, times the sine of, and then we need to think about what angle is in between uh, there. So I'm talking about this theta, for example. And that theta, um, you can find it a couple different ways, but uh, it is just 30 degrees more than 90, so that theta is 120 degrees. And if you look at the sine of 120 degrees, the sine of 120 degrees is um, squared 3 over 2. And so sine of 120 degrees, we can say the area of one of those triangles is going to be 1 half times 9 times square root of 3 over 2. So I guess we get 9 root 3 over 4. And that's only one of the triangles. And so if you just multiply that by 3, you get the total area. So the total area would be, I guess, 27 root 3 over 4. And the nice thing about using that uh, AB sine theta, 1 half AB sine theta formula for the area is that it works for any n-gon. It's not just for a triangle. Any regular polygon can be split up into a series of isosceles triangles. And because you've already found the polar form of the roots, you already know what the length of A and B are. And if you already have the polar form, it's not too hard then to find the angle as well. And so that's why I wanted to use that formula to get through it. So thank you. Let me know if you got any questions or if I made a mistake. Always possible.